brought to you by your local Parmar stores. The 2024 Boys State Basketball Tournament is over. All of our state champions have been crowned and every single game this year was a nail biter until that last buzzer sounded. We'll start it with double A. This one was the last title game played tonight. Charleston Catholic facing Bluefield. Catholic has made deep tournament runs these past few years, losing in a heartbreaker last year in that championship game. The guys wanting to take home the crown this time. It was a tough start. Bluefield came out on a 10-0 run, holding on to that strong lead until the break, taking a 23-15 lead at halftime. The Beavers were dominating Catholic down low. Very physical defense in the paint. Catholic able to fix it during the half and came out feisty and firing. That bucket by J. Allen Turner cut Bluefield's lead to one. Catholic then got their first lead of the game with five minutes left to play. Zayden Ranson with the bucket to put them in front. He'd score another right after and Catholic takes the three point lead. Ranson was then fouled and made both to make it 40 to 39 Catholic Irish with a big stop on this last possession. They're fouled. Max Wilcox makes both at the line and the Irish take down the number one seed Bluefield that final score 42 to 39 an emotional win for these guys as that redemption story is complete. This means so much because we were here before and we bounced back. We got it one. Me, we love you. The seniors, they were great leaders to me and the other guys. It's sad to have them go, but um, we went on a good note, so I'm happy for that. And I love those guys and my brothers. We told the guys that's all it's going to take. You just got to win by one. Just don't get down on yourself if you're not up early or late. Just stay even, never too high, never too low. And just proud of our guys. They, they did a really good job at that. And now, for the first time in 12 years, Charleston Catholic has the basketball state title. The single A championship game was also a crazy one and also came down to the wire. Tug Valley taking on number one Tucker County. Tucker beat Tug in the semis last year. So Tug also looking for revenge in this one. It was all Tucker early, taking a 15 to nine lead halfway through the second, but then Tug's Caden Hale got hot from three, scoring three threes in a row and Tug Valley took a one point lead into halftime. In that third quarter, both sides traded blows and it came down to the wire. Tucker taking a one point lead with seven seconds left on the clock, trying to burn the clock out. But here comes Bryson Elia with a steal. It ends up in his hands for that clutch shot to give Tug that one point lead yet again. Ferris then fouled and is at the line. He makes both and Tug Valley downs the number one seed Tucker. The final 35 to 32. This redemption story is also complete. The guys also very emotional about this one. Their first basketball state championship since 2013. My emotions were up and down. I was just so excited and nervous, but we pulled it through. I'm going to miss them. We were, we were a great team and we'll always be remembered. We just kept exchanging buckets. Then, then Bryson Eli probably scored, probably scored the biggest bucket of his life. And then he got another steal. It was, it was good. Basketball is huge in our community, so it means a lot. We like eat, sleep, basketball. If you ain't got nothing to do where we live, so we just go play ball. So it's, it's it's really big. You know, it's everything to these people. You know, they live and breathe basketball. It's, you know, it's family, God, basketball, or should be God, family, and basketball. Sometimes we get basketball up there a little bit too far, you know, but uh, uh, they, they love it. They breathe, you know, they love live and breathe it. And, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honored and humbled to be their coach. And now for the first time in 11 years, Tug Valley has the basketball state championship trophy. Well, in Class 4A, this game went into overtime. Morgantown won it by three to collect their third state title in as many years. And in Class AAA, Shady Spring does it. Their revenge story is fulfilled as the Tigers take down Fairmont Senior to win the AAA crown. The Gold and Blue Nation Mountaineer Minute is brought to you by your local five-star.